First off, if you're using a personal laptop, once you've installed Cordis, you need to set the directory for ModelSim so Cordis can find it. You want to go to the Tools tab and select Options, then select EDA Tool Options under General. Then select the directory for ModelSim Altera. On Windows, it should be located in the C drive. In C, Intel FPGA Lite, 18.0, ModelSim ASE, Win32ALOEM. Once that's done, Cordis will remember that location for all future projects. Now we can adjust the settings for this project so that ModelSim will automatically compile and run the test bench when launched. Go to the Assignments tab and select Settings, and then select Simulation under EDA Tool Settings. We want to change the native link settings at the bottom to Compile Test Bench, and then click Test Benches. Then select New, type in the test bench name, in this case, System TV. In a simulation, the top level module is the test bench, so it should also be System TV. Remember that System TV contains an instance of System, which is the top level module of the project itself. And then finally, under Test Bench and Simulation Files, you need to select the test bench file itself, in this case, systemtb.v. Then click Add, click OK, OK again, and we're all set.